Hi, maybe you should use auto-tune. Your voice is monotonous, and that's actually not a bad idea. Hey, Jaime, you always come out with the same polos. Only polos, just the polos. Well, Jaime, no te pagan ese trabajo, and, uh, no. <laughs> not interested in your bloopers. Just get on with the bleeping news, would you? Sheesh, the tech nerd here thinks he's a Hollywood actor now, and coming from Catwoman, I'll take that as a compliment. That's right, it's that time of the week. I am Jaime Rivera. This is Pocket Now, and this is the Pocket Now Daily Recap for last week. So on Monday, I asked you if you care about fingerprint scanners and why, as a OnePlus is teasing that a fingerprint scanner is coming to the OnePlus 2. We have 482 comments out of which Xavier says, I like them because one, they're cool, two, security, and three, they are practical. And that's the case for the iPhone, for example, and almost every Galaxy. The fingerprint scanner makes things more practical. The lazy fat man says, I don't really care for fingerprint scanners. I don't even use lock screens on my phone. And that is the case for most people. But once somebody steals your phone, you're going to change your mind immediately. Trust me. And Adam Chase says, after using it on my iPhone, it's become second nature. And I think typing passwords seems to be tedious task. I do agree with you up to the point that I do believe that fingerprints uh, are safer than passwords. How about if somebody learns your password? And please do not say how about if somebody cuts down your finger because that's uh, that's Hannibal stuff. On Tuesday, I asked you, what do you think about Samsung's success as the company is back to being the top number one smartphone seller in the United States? We have 590 comments out of which Z Fitz says, as of right now, I think Samsung has the best phone of 2015. Uh, if it wasn't for the battery life, I could probably agree with you. And Peter Robson says, Galaxy S6 Edge has changed my mind on never to buy a Samsung phone again. Now I own one. And uh, you know, after handling it at MWC and after seeing a couple of friends of mine using it, I am compelled to get me one as well. Another commenter says, I like Samsung's success in North America because Android is a great operating system. However, under the same roof, I dislike it a bit because it proves that people still only care about the brand name, Apple or Samsung, and don't even consider other op options like Sony, HTC, and LG, and I agree with you. Particularly Sony, they make such great phones and such underrated as well. On Wednesday, I asked you, well, how much do you currently pay for music streaming as, uh, well, we learned that Apple Pay costs differently depending on which country you're on. Uh, we have 844 comments out of which one of them says, I use YouTube, it's free. Well, sort of. Uh, I have to pay for my internet, and uh, yeah, a lot of people just go for the freemium model, which is great and not available for Apple Music. And Daniel says, I use Spotify in Costa Rica, and I pay $8.99 for two users. And yeah, uh, I actually got the US version of Spotify, so even if I'm in Guatemala, I pay $10, and it's $15 for the family pack. Uh, so lucky you, dude. I just find Spotify to have more music in the United States. And JC says, I use Spotify, but uh, since Apple is only charging uh, only $2 for Apple Music, in India, I am moving to India. Great comment. On Thursday, I asked you if you would like a non-expandable Galaxy Note 5, as most of the leaks claim that that is going to be the case. We have 782 comments out of which Cardix says, if there is no expandability, there is no Note line. And people would say that about the S Pen, but then again, there's a reason why I stick to the Note lineup and it's because of expandability. I agree with you. And Travis says, nope on the flat Galaxy Note 5. The removable battery SD card expansion is why I bought it in the first place. And that is exactly the same reason why I put up with such a clunky operating system in the case of the Galaxy Note Edge because of expandability. And then another commenter says, no, 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 the Galaxy Note lineup is the best because I love removable battery expandable storage. If it gets removed, I would have to switch to other Android phones like LG and HTC. And yeah, LG and HTC have figured it out. I feel that Samsung should step up its game. And finally, on Friday, I asked you if you would mind the thicker iPhone, as the rumors are that it's going to get uh, 0.01 millimeters thicker uh, because of the Force Touch technology. Uh, we have 481 comments out of which 9 Cinema Down says, better battery life, it's worth it. Not bending, it's worth it. Force Touch, not worth it. And uh, yeah, I agree. And PKM Flawless says it's 0.1 millimeters thicker. That won't make a difference in your daily life at all. And uh, yeah, I guess that's going to be the case. And that's really sad. I was expecting more for that. Then Raising Lover says, I don't care if the phone is 10 millimeters thick. I want better battery life. And I think that is the case for everyone. I don't understand this trend of thin and light. It's cool, true. But if you're not able to handle the basics like battery life, then I would rather you give me a thick phone. But that's my opinion and yours as well. 
that's it for the Pocket Now Daily Recap. Thank you very much for watching. A couple of tips if you want your comments to be featured. Number one, keep them short. Number two, stick to the point. Number three, try to get some thumbs up. It helps us spot them a lot easier. You can also follow us on social media. Subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera, or on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next week.